This is a poem called Origin Story. Someone always asks me, where are you from? And I want to say, a body is a body of matter flung from all corners of the universe, and I am a patriot of breath, of sin, of the endless clamor out the window. But what I say is, I am from nowhere, which is also a convenience, a kind of lie. When I was sitting in the Mumbai airport this January on a 40-hour layover rushing home because my mother had had a stroke and was not yet verbal, I wondered about my words. I thought, perhaps I am from my words because my basic biography is quite ordinary. Born in Croydon, England, to a mother and a father who, on different sides of a national border, were married in wartime and had to reunite in the only place they could both get to. I was born at home, 76 Bingham Street, midwived, not doctored, into the world, and taken back to India when the war was over, where I came into language and of the seven that were spoken in the house, I began speaking four as the same. Then to the cold Canadian north we went to a town that no longer exists on the other side of Cross Lake from the Pimchikamak Cree who lost everything because of the dam my father was helping to build across the river. Then to Winnipeg, then to New York City, then to Buffalo I was taken. I can claim Buffalo. I think I can say I am from Buffalo because it is a city of poets, the city of Lucille Clifton. I arrived there in cold January to find my mother, a little slowed down but still self-possessed enough to cook meals for everybody even if she didn't remember the names for all the spices she was using. She talks by the time I arrive but slowly and deliberately, and she has to listen very carefully to be able to respond. She pauses while she talks, and she cocks her head while she thinks. She does not criticize me or say anything else about my life. Our ordinary silence does not seem as suffocating because I wait patiently while she strains to find each word. You tell me, what on earth does it mean that I almost like my mother, better this way. When she goes to her medical appointment, I get out my copy of Good Woman and comb through its lines to find the addresses where Lucille Clifton grew up and lived. I climb into the car with a map and drive through the snow to find those places and take photographs of the empty lots where the houses once stood. Listen. I have no answer to your question. I'm not kidding when I tell you. I earned my own voice. The shape it makes in the world holds me. I have no hometown, no mother tongue. I have not been a good son. <laughs> 